Anyway, today we're going to be designing a vat, or, sorry, we're going to be maximizing a vat. So I've already written some things down here. This is our vat, and this is our um, condition. This is what we're subjected to, or what our, <laughs> wow, huh? <laughs> this is what our vat is subject to, okay? So, what's our first step? We're gonna set up the Lagrangian. If I pronounce things wrong, you just have to let it slide. So what is the, the, the what is, what is the Lagrangian, okay? I'll tell you what. You take your maximization, you put it on one side, You put less, you put your Lagrangian multiplier, okay? And you put everything in there. You put everything in your condition, okay? Done. There's your Lagrangian. This is your L for Lagrangian, your L of WH equals that, all right? Everything's correct so far, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, okay. We're maximizing. This should tell you one thing. It should tell you one thing. That we're doing derivatives, okay? We're doing our partials. So we're doing our derivative with respect, let's go W first, okay, of WH, which is equal to, okay guys, and I'm not even gonna bother here, because it's that obvious. We're doing one for W, width, and then one for height, H, okay? At least that's what I assume it stands for, huh? If it doesn't, we're in big trouble here. We're in big trouble. Now we're doing height. Okay, so this is and that should be correct. Those are your two partials. That should be correct. If it's not, we're in big trouble here, guys. Okay, it's correct. Well, Again, not technically correct. I'm bad with this. Don't be bad with this. That's a zero. I'll make it a zero in just a second. You need, it's just, it's good, okay? You gotta put your zeros on the end, okay? We're gonna move, we're gonna move some things around, okay? Remove that and remove this. Okay, one thing you'll notice there is absolutely no need whatsoever for me to have brackets here, but I have brackets there because I feel like it. I just want to let you know that you don't need to put brackets there. I just I'm kind of crazy like that. What we're going to do is we're going to divide this by this, okay, over 4w, which is just equal to 1 over 2 plus h over w, okay? And this other side here, this other side here, guys, <laughs> all right, 2h over w, okay? 2h over w equals 1 half plus something something, okay? But we can simplify this even further, okay? So you have 2, oh boy, you have 2h over w equals
equals one half plus h over w. We're gonna multiply this by w. Okay, so you have this times w one half plus h over w equals two h. Well, ooh, sorry, sorry thing on the floor. Didn't mean to disturb you. Didn't mean to disturb you that late in the night. Well, that's, that's equal to w over two plus h equals two h. You move the h to the other side, you got h equals w over two. Oh my goodness, guys, this is crazy. That doesn't even look like a w, I'm sorry. h equals w over two, okay? We're cooking. We are cooking so freaking hard right now. We know w equals 2h, okay? And what else do we know? I think we know one other thing. Yeah, um, h over w equals one half, right? Like if you divided this by w, the w would go on the other side. So h divided by w equals one half. So these are our things that we know now. So now we can solve, we can solve our Lagrangian or the constraint. So this is important because we're gonna plug this back into our G of W and our H. Now I'm gonna divide everything by W, okay? So we're left with W, plus 4h equals a divided by w. It's just, I, it just seems easier to work with, at least to me, okay? Um, I just think it's easier. Do I really wanna do that? No, I don't wanna do that. That's not even true either. Or I guess it's not as true as it could be. Okay. I'm going to redo that. I'm gonna show this a little slower. Okay, so we're at this line right here, okay? We know Okay, we're at this line right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna divide both sides by W and I want you to watch what happens here, okay? I'm gonna do comma and we're gonna do this slowly. Now, you might be enticed to cross out Ws here, but that's not what we're gonna do at all. We are going to get rid of the power of two here, because that makes sense. But I'm going to do something here. This equation, or, or how this looks right now, makes a lot more sense, at least in my mind, if we observe this rule. We know that h over w equals one half. And we have h over w here. So all we're gonna do to make this as simple as possible is we're gonna make this w plus one over two for h. Sorry, w. Oh my gosh. Raise your hand if I'm losing my mind. Raise your hand if I've lost it. Okay? Well, this isn't that hard. Plus 2w, this is 3w. You know, this is equal to a over w times w, because we want to get a alone. I'm going to put a star here, and I'm moving this over here. This is 3w to the power of 2 equals a, OK? 
okay? Well, we can divide everything by three and then square root. So therefore, W, that's a terrible W. Guys, it's been a rough night, can you tell? W is equal to the square root of A over three, okay? Boom, it's not that hard. I'm gonna write this down over here on this corner. W equals the square root of A over three, because that's kind of important, because it's kind of just what we're doing, you know? These, these are our answers, by the way. We're trying to find how we maximize W and H when, when we're subjected to this and when we're maximizing that. This is just your answer. <laughs> so it's important to write them down. We found one out of two answers. Now we're, now we're gonna find the other answer, okay? So I'm gonna start us back up here. I'm gonna take similar steps though. Like I am gonna take very similar steps. We've got this right. A over W um, times W. We've got six H times W, which is equal to two H. Um, so two H times six H is, um, well, okay. So this is where things get fun. We can put the two in now. <coughs> we can put the two in now. We slot the two in there and you've got 12 H times H equals A, okay? Well, that equals 12 H to the power of two equals A. We already know what this answer is, but I'm gonna do it slowly. H, uh, squared, oh my god, I'm tweaking, equals a over 12, therefore h is equal to the square root of a over 12. And we have our answer. I don't know why I was losing my mind there for a bit, but you just gotta believe me that I was cooking. And I was, these are both correct. These are both correct. And we're done, that's it. So we have our answers now. We found, we found, we have found the width and height of the vat that maximizes this. This maximization and what it's subject to. And it wasn't that difficult. It just took a few steps. I wanna make it clear that um, it's very important to practice your algebra. Every time I don't, I can definitely feel it. And so it's important to get good uh, at, at, doing, at, at doing your math. Thank you for watching.